Hi and welcome back to the course of mechatronics. This is Mandra Zado from SITCOE and today we are going to go through different force sensors. So let's start with the PPD. So basically objective of today's for lecture is to study different force sensors. The outcome will be the student will be able to explain different force sensors. Outline of today's video is firstly we will go through introduction that is what are the force sensor and then the type of uh, force sensor that is digital force gauge in which we are going to go through again piezoelectric sensor and strain gauge sensor. So basically what is a force sensor? A force sensor is used to measure the force during a push or pull on the object. We know we can measure the force with different instruments but in mechatronics or for automation we need to go for sensors to measure the force on any object uh, or load on any object for that we need to go for force sensors there are two kinds of force measuring instruments mechanical force gauges and digital force sensors here we are not going to go through mechanical force gauges as we are mainly focusing on mechatronics that is uh, sense electronic sensors we need to go through so we will go for the digital force sensors in detail so digital force sensors again will be consisting of different force sensors but the two basic or major uh, majorly used in industry are piezoelectric sensor and strain gauge sensor so we will discuss these two sensors one by one so we will go for piezoelectric sensor first basically the piezoelectricity is the word derived from greek word piezo or piezein which means to squeeze or press so when you apply force on any object it will get squeezed or pressed so from that uh, it, the word comes piezo and the piezoelectric sensor is a device which uses this piezoelectric effect that is uh, squeezing effect to measure changes in the pressure or acceleration or temperature or strain or force by converting them to an electric charge so basically uh, this is very uh, the piezoelectric sensor can be used for different measurements like we can measure pressure acceleration temperature strain force so these are different quantities which can be measured by piezoelectric sensor now we know pressure is nothing but again force applied divided by area so that may be again convertible so force when we are going to apply the force on any object it will get squeezed or pressed and that effect is used by piezoelectric sensor for measuring the applied force so basically uh, piezoelectric crystal is used for making the piezoelectric sensor and the crystal will be having electrodes on each each side of its face so the charges in the piezoelectric crystal are exactly balanced when there is no any force on the piezoelectric crystal and the, because of that the effects of the charges exactly cancelled out leaving no net charge on the crystal faces if the crystal is squeezed by applying the force the charges are forced to be out of balance so it will be imbalanced so on one face there will be higher force than the other face and because of that the charges which are produced will be out of balance and so net charge will be uh, again proportional to the force which is applied to one of the faces of the piezoelectric crystal by squeezing the crystal a voltage is produced across its opposite faces and that's piezoelectric effect so basically piezoelectric effect is nothing but when we are going to use uh, piezoelectric crystal uh, with electrodes on opposite faces when we squeeze that crystal on the opposite faces there will be some amount of charge net charge will be produced which will be again proportional to the force applied to the for the squeezing of that crystal so so this is the pictorial representation of a piezoelectric sensor see here uh, that cylindrical part is nothing but a piezoelectric crystal uh, with uh, electrodes on two opposite faces which is connected in a circuit and there is a voltmeter which shows uh, net charge on the 
crystal uh, but in this figure the two faces are having balanced forces so there is no any charge so voltage is zero when we are going to squeeze this crystal there will be some voltage will be generated which we can see on the uh, monitor okay so that was regarding the piezoelectric sensor using piezoelectric effect the next one is strain gauge sensor again the strain gauge sensor is also used for measuring different quantities we can measure load force pressure temperature etc again with this again strain gauge sensor so it, it is also uh, having different uses so here for force measurement how we can use the strain gauge sensor a strain gauge is device used to measure strain on the object the strain can be related to stress or force see here strain gauge majorly uses strain and strain is again related to stress and force stress is nothing but again it is force applied divided by area on which we are going to apply the force so stress and force again are related to each other and strain is again due to the applied force so we are going to measure the strain and which is again proportional to the force as the foil is subjected to force the resistance of the foil changes in a defined way see here for strain gauge we are having very thin layer or foil of a semiconductor uh, with uh, metallic etching on the foil and that we are going to apply over the object on which force is going to get applied and it will act in a defined way so there are three different ways through which a uh, it will show us reading for different applications of force c for a first that is a no comp if there is no any compression or no any extension resistance will be zero for that strain gauge so there is no any resistance if we are not going to apply any force over the object if the strip is conductive metal uh, sorry if a strip of conductive metal is stretched that is it will be elongated it will result in an increase of electrical resistance okay we will see in figure after this and c is if the strip of conductive metal is broadened or shortened that is if you compressed it it will result in a decrease of electrical resistance okay so in this diagram we can see that the a diagram a shows us that there is no any force applied uh, on uh, any side of the gauge so we will get zero resistance here in b what is done is you can see the arrow linings the material is stretched or tension is given to the material on the opposite sides so what has happened is area is get narrowed and resistance is increased of the strain gauge sensor and the higher resistance will again be proportional with the force which uh, using which we are going to uh, stretching the material then the c case that is when we are going to compress the material say again arrow arrow arrows are shown with facing towards each other that is the material is being compressed by applying the forces on the opposite faces so what is happening here is the material is get broadened and area get thickens of the uh, wire uh, that strain sensitive pattern okay and see uh, on 3 a b c 3 3 the diagrams the strain sensitive pattern which is having thickness so in a it is having some thickness in b that thickness has get minimized that is arrow uh, area of that uh, uh, wire has narrowed and in c figure that area is broadened because of the compression so because of that only that uh, resistance changes okay. and accordingly the voltage is uh, affected proportionally and again that will be proportional to the force applied on the strain gauge sensor so this was regarding the strain gauge sensor so in this video what we have gone through is uh, what is the force sensor uh, how uh, it is categorized and two different force sensors uh, which are digital sensors obviously mm -hmm. 
piezoelectric sensor and strain gauge sensor. These two sensors were studied in this video. I hope it is a good uh, explanation. Thank you.